What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Wednesday Night Live stream. Hopefully, everyone's having a, a wonderful Wednesday today. Just getting things all ready to roll. Tons of people in the chat already. Um, quick question from Daily Reefing: How do you do? You need to stir two port after it's initially mixed. Uh, no, I don't. I never bother once it's mixed. It's pretty much good to go. That's good there. Uh, Salty Creep, happy to hear you'll be in Niagara, I sure will. Uh, two shows I got booked so far for spring is the Niagara Coral Show, and that one is March 20 to 23rd. Well, that's what I'm there those couple days, but it'll be that weekend. And then April is Aquafest, so those are the two I got on the book so far, so pretty excited. Um, as you know, if you guys have not been to shows, definitely go make out to the shows, because they're a ton of fun, and you get to geek out with everybody. It's awesome. Chili Willy Reese, what is going on? Welcome, guys. Um, so today, as you guys know, I'm a little bit of an Ecotech fanboy. I love the Ecotech gear. I started off with, you know, the good old China black box lights and everything. I've upgraded a bazillion times and finally up with all the good stuff now. And luckily, I've had the opportunity to do some beta testing for Mobius the last few months. So some of you may or may not know what that is yet. And it is one of the new control platforms that's coming out. So kind of exciting. And yeah, it's been pretty awesome just testing it out and getting to play with it for the last little while. And I know it's coming out in the near future. So I figured it'd be a good time to give you guys a, a little bit of a sneak peek about it. And so kind of how it works. If you guys have used the AI Neros or any of the AI stuff where you can connect to it directly through Bluetooth. So it's kind of based on that. Um, so the one kind of cool thing about it is it's kind of like having a controller without having a controller or like an uncontroller. So if you already own a bunch of Ecotech gear, you could potentially end up having a aquarium controller as you go, which is cool. So a totally different kind of concept and really cool kind of spin off it, which I thought was really neat. Um, so what is Mobius just asking? So Mobius is the soon to be released, probably in the next few months. I don't really know official dates on it yet, but it's going to be one of the new control platforms from Ecotech Marine. So they have the Reflink now, which is still out. You can still use that, or you could choose to use Mobius. And Mobius is going to be more of a Bluetooth type of control system. So you can control stuff directly and your hardware can talk to itself. So it kind of works by creating a bit of a mesh network through your devices. So if you're, you know, your, your lights can talk to your pumps, can talk to your return pump, all the type of stuff. I think there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming out down the road that we don't quite know about yet, but I have some good feelings that it's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, so this isn't released yet. This is totally a sneak peek for you guys, but so we'll load it up. So when you open this up, uh, the phone is loads the app and is right now is reaching out to all the equipment on the tank and kind of building the profile. So it takes a couple seconds for it to load. And once everything talks to each other, you'll see my screen populate. Um, can it link to the internet? Not at the moment. So currently it is just through Bluetooth. So you got to be, you know, within Bluetooth range of your tank. Um, that may or may not change on the road. I'm not 100% sure on that one yet. Um, but so far it's Bluetooth kind of area network, but who knows down the road. That's from Puff Daddy. Uh, so what's going on? Something fishy? Puff Daddy Reef 1 production. So kind of a bit of a demo. So the background behind me is actually a web camera pointed at my tank. So it is live. So you can create, so actually one of the quick things in here, let me show you my phone, you can see it. Um, so for setting up stuff, I was really impressed with how easy it was. They have templates for everything. Um, I know a lot of people in the past complained about how hard it is to set up a light or, you know, what program do I do, all that type of stuff. So they are going to have a bunch of profiles built in. So when you first add your equipment, um, the first time I added it, take a little bit to update it, but once everything was updated, then it was pretty much good to go. I'm not going to completely apply a template because I don't want to kill all my initial stuff. But when you add a light, you basically say, okay, okay, I want it to want my lights to turn on this time, off that time, go to set, you know, pick your template. You know, AB plus obviously one of the big ones in there. Um, since it's one of the most popular lighting profiles like out there, period. And hit next, programs you take. Super duper easy. So that is that is really cool. Um, if you want to edit your schedule, I'm gonna flip this over. Daily Reefing. Always look forward to your streams. Thank you, sir, for the 499 Super Chat. Much appreciated. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so lighting profile. So kind of take the default one. If you want to adjust it, you click on your point and you can drag up, you know, the one on the left is your overall intensity for the whole schedule. Or you can drag up and down, you know, each individual color channel. 
you'll see the tank in the background. You'll be able to like, you know, stuff will change as you're playing with it. So you can kind of get a good feel for it. See what your tank will look like with it. You know, drag the blues down. So it's very, very responsive. So I can drag it up and down and see it live, which is really cool. Uh, B Auto, does this work in conjunction with the reflink? Um, currently, no. Down the road, who knows? It's hard to say. Um, do you know if, uh, so Mac was coming, do you know if it will come integrated with new Ecotel products or be an add on? So the, any product from the last year, year and a half or so has already has the capability built into it. If you have stuff that's a few years old, I mean, you might be out of luck on that one. There may or may not be able to upgrade the Wi-Fi chip in it, but anything from the last year, year and a half will already be compatible. So if you have, you know, gen fours and stuff, there's a good chance it's already going to work. So you may already have the capability built in, which is really cool. Um, so that's one nice super touch with it. And obviously all the newer future products, everything will have that built in. So that's, so I'm not going to say that one yet, but so, you know, there's kind of your lighting. If you guys have used the Nero's, it's similar kind of boat. Um, so we're controlling my Lagoon tank right now. So I mean, I just have my Vectra on there. So obviously that one's just standard issue on it is. Um, if you go to the pumps, so right now, um, this is very similar if you've seen like the Nero videos, or I think I did one on a while back when I originally put up the Nero. So right now I just have it on pretty low, cause pretty shallow tank, 12% on reef crest. If I want to mix up my schedule, say I want to add a pulse, drag it over, drop it, done. You know, on the left hand side, you can drag up and down what you want your max speed to be, how long of a pulse, and it's going to program it. So super duper duper easy, which is really cool. I'm going to delete this one. Let's try editing the one on the right. So this should be the one that's actually blowing the little pump behind me. Adding a short pulse. We'll pass four. Max intensity. Let's turn this down to like 30. Yeah, 20 so it doesn't destroy my tank. And if I hit save, you can see it already pulsing. Ah. You can already see it pulsing the Duncan kind of right behind me. So it's very, very responsive, which I thought was cool. That made me happy to see just how quick it works to program it. So it's really cool to see it. Um, Q9, what is Mobius? Mobius is a uh, top secret, not so top secret because I'm showing you, but soon to be released future control platform for the Ecotech line of products. Um, doo -doo -doo. So devices. So in here, you can set up your tank name, troubleshoot it. Um, the main page, you can set up kind of profiles. So this is where you'd set up a lot of your automation. Um, so you can see on mine, I got a feed mode, photo mode. So if I want to take photos of the tank, it's too blue. I hit photo mode, boom, everything whitens up. So super duper quick and easy. Same thing. I got like my coral pop mode. So if you want to, you know, your friends are over, you want to show off those crazy colors, like oh, hit a button, boom, instantly everything goes like the blue crazy camera obviously doesn't like it, but it goes to that crazy color pop mode, which is really cool. Uh, and same thing. I have another one for flow off. So if I want to like get a nice top down photo, I hit my flow off. Um, feed mode, same thing you can say, actually here, let's edit one. So if I go to feed mode, you can call it whatever you want, pick an icon, duration. So currently when I put my tank in feed mode, I have my return pump off for 50 minutes. I do this because I have my filter roller and I don't want it to just suck up all the food. I'd rather float around the tank for a while and make sure fish, corals, everything has a chance to eat it. So lighting, don't want to change it or check, you know, 1%, it's basically on nothing. If I go to uh, MP40 not found, so click on the wrong one. Mobius. Um, are these all stock modes? Uh, mostly there's the ones I programmed just from playing with it. The stock modes just have a couple built-in ones. Yeah, so if I do flow off. Okay, so if I hit feed mode, I think I put my wave makers to like a couple percent, super low. So you can see tank starting to drop, everything's slowing down behind me. And same thing that goes for about 50 minutes. Um, see this, you can see the surface ripples stopping. Fish are checking it out, seeing what's up. They're probably expecting me to feed them right now. It's kind of funny, the, the clown right behind my head. He's trying to host the Duncan now since he doesn't have his leather in this tank anymore. But so that, so if I hit stop, um, it's going to end that scene. You can see the pumps kick back up. My return pump is going to kick back up and everything goes back up to kind of normal. So super easy to program this. 
So really, really easy. So if I want to do a new scene, go to edit, with little plus sign, just pick custom for whatever you want. It does something random. And then I can click into each device and say, okay, the vortex, I want them to be at, you know, let's say 15%. I want 15%. I want my vector to be at 1%. So here's like a second feed mode. So we'll call this coral feed. Duration. 20 minutes. Okay, there you go. In that couple seconds, I just programmed a secondary feed mode. So that's coral feed. So when I hit coral feed, it's going to put my vortex up to wherever the 15% was. Um, so you can do really easy programming like this. So it's really, really cool. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the other thing I'm super stoked about, is it going to be free? Yep, 100% free out. Um, you're feeding a pause the power hasn't clicked resume. Exactly. So what I would do, so I have two different feed modes. So I'd have one with the, both of them will turn the return pump off for feed mode where it just holds water on the line. And the power heads will have one with them barely moving and one with them higher. So I would just do two different feed modes for that just because it makes it easy. So now I have feed mode and coral feed. So I can just pick whatever one I want. So super duper cool. Um, I know the Versa pumps is coming out sometime in the near future. Uh, if you guys haven't seen those, those would look like really cool pumps. They are Versa, like extremely versatile. So you can use it for, you know, dosing, you know, trace elements are super there. So you can do, you know, 100 gallons a day water change. Like you do tons of it. So really, really cool pump. So I definitely want one for my calcium reactor. So I'm going to work on that one. Um, so this... Yeah, so, okay, so the reflink is still an option. I mean, you could use that, or you can upgrade and use Mobius. You got the option, right? Um, currently, I don't think this works outside of Bluetooth range. That may or may not change in the future. Who knows? Um, still in beta testing. It's not even public release yet, so I can't even say. Just trying to give you guys a little bit of sneak peek of what I've been playing with the last few months. But yeah, overall, if you want to add a pump, there is another cool thing. So if I wanted to add a pump, hit the plus sign, and it shows you which devices are compatible. So there's my two Neros that show up now. Um, it's it's very similar to the Nero app. It's basically take the Nero app and improve on it, and this is what you got with Mobius. Um, so I just hit plus, and it automatically found the two Neros that I have within my house. Now, one of them is right behind me on my temporary tank, and the other one is downstairs at the opposite corner of the house on the Red Sea Nano. So it, through Bluetooth, it creates a mesh network, and it automatically finds everything around you, which is super cool. Um, now, if you go to update legacy devices, I've already updated them, but if you have a device that's not yet Nero compatible, it will show up in here and then you can upgrade it and give it that compatibility. So that's really cool. Uh, do you know what's new in the update? Everything's new because it's not released yet. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. So it is not a module. It is not a device. Mobius is the name of the control platform for Ecotech that's not out yet. Um, it's will it work with gen 2 um if you're talking about like gen 2 radions i'm gonna say those are likely too old i know within the last year year and a half anything in that range will be compatible um stuff before it wouldn't have the new bluetooth type of chip so gen 4 stuff for sure should be compatible um obviously you have to confirm with ecotech i don't work for them this is all unofficial but gen 4 you're pretty darn safe gen 3 probably depends when it was produced so i don't know i can't ask that one for sure but I have, I mean, it works with my Vectras, it works with my Vortex, it works with my Radeon, so it's pretty cool. So, so it is an app, not yet released, going to be released sometime in the near future. Um, probably in the next couple months. I know it's been, in, I've been beta testing myself for a few months now, and I know it's, you know, every update, they upgrade more and more features. Uh, Bluetooth LE, I believe so. I'm pretty sure that's what it's using. But yeah, it's super duper responsive, just how easy it is to program, how easy it is to add stuff is really cool. You know, acclimation mode, one switch, there's acclimation, you know. You want lunar mode, oh, there you go, there's lunar mode on. Like, it's just so easy to program it. So I think it's like a huge step of when, when it comes out. Uh, no idea when the release day is, but probably sometime in the next couple months. But yeah, you know, templates, you know, oh, I got my brand new light, set it up, template. Oh, let's do AB plus, next. Perfect, programmed. That, that's, that took like four seconds to program the light. Like, it is insane how good it is. Um, I remember one of the BRS videos, the first thing they're saying is, oh, let's just program itself and figure it out. There you go, BRS. There it is. Merry Christmas. Um, can you swap the chip out? Um, yes. 
I don't fully know the plan for that, but if you do look inside of your light or your pump, whatever, the older chips are green, the newer chips are black. So if it has the black Wi-Fi chip in it, then it's compatible. That's kind of the quick and quick and easy way to do it. Um, I don't know how far back it would go, but at least for the newer stuff, I mean, you're pretty darn safe with that one and you're probably good to go as it is. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool platform. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek about it. I'm playing with it. Um, just think too, you know, once the new pumps come out, all this type of stuff you can add in. Uh, what does support the AI Hydro Lights? Now you do have the My AI app, which probably has a lot of that stuff built into it. Um, I'm not sure. It does support, you can add the Nero's into it. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know any AI Hydra's, so I can't say it for sure on that one. Um, but yeah, they do have the My AI apps. I mean, that one's similar in how it works, which would work. It definitely, we'll definitely start to use it once release. Yeah, I know so far I'm really impressed with it. I figured you guys would like a bit of a sneak peek, but just, I don't know how quick and easy it is to add stuff and you know, coral pop, boom, like Bluetooth, like coral feed, boom, done. Oops, turn the lights off on that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so quick and easy to do stuff, which I thought was really cool. And the other fun stuff, I have now added a live webcam behind the tank. So it's kind of a good, nice little backdrop for stuff. Um, Once like the Versa comes out, which I'm excited for, like that same thing. If you want to do feed profiles, you can have one button. Does a water change in your tank or you can schedule like tons of cool, cool stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of like getting a controller without buying a controller, right? I don't have a controller, but now I can control, you know, feed modes and automate stuff and do stuff just straight from the app. So the end controller, it's kind of a cool way to think about it. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions on it, I can attempt to answer. Uh, I don't necessarily have any official answers. Remember all unofficial, but I got a lot of experience just testing it out and, you know, beta testing for the last few months. Um, yeah, guys, so hopefully, hopefully you guys are liking it. But it just gives tons of room. Um, yeah, so another thing can have different tanks. Not that I have my water box yet, but just kind of pre-prepping stuff. And you can add your devices to it. You can click multiple tanks. If you want, you know, click the little top, pick your next tank. Pick your scenes, you know. All your different modes. It's just so, 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 so quick and easy. So yeah, pretty cool. What's going on, Nathan? So that is my kind of, kind of a bit of a sneak peek. Uh, another exciting news. We got the lovely Lagoon tank that's been doing awesome so far beside me. Uh, put a chip in the non-ecotech. Non-ecotech. Okay. So I've seen Jake from, from Rebuilders talking with a guy from Ecotech and they were saying you'll be able to put the chip in non-ecotech devices. I don't know about non-ecotech, but you can probably upgrade the chip is what he's talking about. And I'm sure that's doable in any of the, you know, newer equipment. At one point, I know they were like soldered in there. So those ones obviously aren't really going to be swappable, but the ones where you can pop it in, there's a good chance of it. So another fun stuff, it's my quarantine tank behind me i got a blue straw jawfish which is really cool so that guy's been hanging out in there and so far so good so pretty stoked uh i've been playing with my big tank on the deck constantly so my escape my escape for it changes every time you hit the doggo it's like adding a few more chunks of rock and stuff so it's coming soon so i'm really excited for that one it's gonna be good all right guys so this one is fairly short stream today just want to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek if you got any other questions on it uh, let me know, but I think once it comes out, it's going to be pretty awesome for all you Ecotech guys out there. I know lots, lots of people love it, and I certainly do. Got a nice background on that one later. All right, guys, I'm going to call her for today. Lots going on. Quick sneak peek. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next live stream. And hey, if you guys enjoyed this, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers, guys.